Hi, I'm Matt. Welcome to our exclusive content. So glad you could join us today. We're in a series at the moment called Word. His Word Empowers Me. All about how the scripture and the revelation of who Jesus is empowers us to live life to the full. And that's because in him we discover who we truly are. That's how that makes sense. And we're currently looking at the idea of intimacy and intimacy with God. Now Jesus introduces a thought. He says quite a number of times throughout the Gospel of John that he is in the Father and the Father is in him and he is in us. Actually, if you go and look at John chapter 14, you'll see a few times in there he repeats something of that phrase. And what he's doing is he's introducing to his disciples, those who were learning from him, living with him and discovering more and more about what it is like to live life to the full. He was introducing to them not only was God father, but he was close. He was with them. He was present. And he says that in reference to after his resurrection, because in a, in a short while, Jesus is crucified, but he doesn't stay dead. He rises again. And Jesus is talking about that moment that when he rises again, the disciples are going to know for themselves that God is present in them in a different way that he couldn't have been had Jesus just been man and walked with them. Now, in many contexts, it's often heard, often expressed, perhaps through prayer or the way someone invites God. Or maybe it's a moment of desperation where people cry out and they say, God, would you come and show yourself? Good God, would you, would you come into this situation? God, would you come and be with me? I want to ask, how can a God who promises that he will never leave us and forsake us be somewhere else? I mean, Jesus has already opened up the idea that he is intimate with us. And I want to challenge you. You might be making a decision this week. Are you making a decision with the mindset that God is far away and you've got to invite him to come along and be part of the journey and be part of that conversation, be part of that dialogue? God wants to be part of it. But we must recognize that in Christ Jesus, God is now close. He's made his home in us. That's John chapter 1. He actually uses a word, abode, a bit of an old word. But God is now near. Why would we even allow the thought to enter our minds that God is far away, especially when he promises that he will never leave us? So I just want to encourage you, in the decisions you're making this week, make them with the mind, make them with the reality and the understanding. And from the revelation that God is with you in that moment. He's for you, he's present, and he is inviting you into life's great journey with him in a way that you know he is fully present.